So this guy stopped me at the beach randomly. He's like, you want to join me out on the trip? And my motto is to be spontaneous, so I said yes. And here we go. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Is a shop? Know what you can put together with it, just just some some different stuff, huh? It looks really nice. Yeah. It looks really nice. See? I'm scared. It looks of really it. nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, I want to tell you how it is. I don't think there's any sharks at least. No, there are not. Because it's a shallow water, there is nothing. There is nothing in that big okay. fish. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Jump. See ya. White Isle, White Isle now there. That's where we're heading right now. It comes up out of the sea and it stays like that for a couple of hours before it drowns again. It's pretty awesome. This is the white sand island in the middle of the ocean. Incredible! It's usually a lot bigger, they said, but because of the tide, it's it's now in the smallest it can be. So, wow! Look at all the birds. Sorry, guys. I think we're taking over now. Looks like the birds have found themselves a home. When I woke up today, I had no clue I would end up this place, at this place. And uh, you know, I think I made a video about this, but about like the the idea our mind has for our future compared to like what the future is holding. And I can tell you, like my future today when I woke up did not look like this at all. I thought I was gonna stay back at the hotel and maybe do some drawings or try to work on the business or something, but that I was gonna be on a white island in the middle of the ocean today, I had no clue. 
So uh, that actually makes me really excited because this is hap this happens every day. Every day we don't know what's going to happen, and you know suddenly. Of course, it's about the position you put yourself in to have even greater experiences, but our mind never knows what's going to happen. And that's so cool about life, I think. You know what's funny? You know those travel videos you've seen? Or you probably have seen? Where it's like, in, you put on some slow motion, some music, and it gets like, it looks like insane. With the footage I have like now, I could make a crazy travel video. I think it would look pretty awesome. Uh, but what I'm trying to show you right now is like, this is a travel video too, right? But this is just like me here, the ocean, the waves, the sounds of the seagulls. And just how it is for me actually right now. Of course you see some smaller snippets, but still it's more like it actually is. So what you see now is, is what it is for me as well. And it's incredible and awesome and fantastic in paradise, but I'm actually here right now and you know it's it's cool, but it's still it's still life. It's still like every place has its own thing and this of course has its own thing and if I was sitting in somewhere right now where it was cold or I would look at this footage and be like, wow insane, just imagine being there. But being here is it's still life like everywhere else and if you don't have it good up here you can be in as incredible views as you want but still it will be not still be where you are so the saying wherever you go there you are i find very true in this regard This one. Metano. Metano? It's okay. No problem. I'm gonna matar them. Asante. So that was driving to uh, through Stone Town, Zanzibar City. It is home of like two million people, and the village I live in is like three thousand. So it takes an hour to drive there and it's total and utter chaos. And it's very interesting to see. So now we're at the outskirts of that city to go and... You know what? I don't know what we're doing. I'm just joining on an adventure. They came and asked me if I want to go in and I said yes. <laughs> so now I'm walking this way to figure out if I find something interesting. Still getting used to like filming. Filming myself in front of other people, it's kind of strange to be honest. And everybody thinks it's crazy that I'm walking around filming myself and they see, they call me a Mazungu, a white man, huh? What is this? Yellow. The yellow thing. Is that, uh, what is that? Soft. 
Hey! This is like the rich part of town. So this is where all the tourists come to at, at the beginning. So this is Stone Town, the old, old town. I'm gonna try to get myself some food. Hello, oh, Mambo. Oh. Hi. Quite fresh. Hello. I don't know how much I was able to capture of what you see in outside the city, but uh, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. Uh, the way people drive, the way people act on the streets, just how people are living is so extremely different from everything I've seen. And uh, you know, it can compare sometimes to like East, Southeast Asia or something like that, but it has its own way, you know, it's, it's Africa. It's uh, very special. And I, I must say, I really like it. Like the way it's, it's the wild, wild west, you know? Everybody can talk to everyone. And you see while I'm walking down the street, everybody's saying hi, hello, how are you doing? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm white, but I feel like people are very friendly. And you would think that, you know, they would not take too friendly to me, but they do. And um, I was just at this police station right now, and this gay guy came and he thought I was filming because I was like a spy or something like that. But it was very funny because even though he was a police officer, I could talk to him like human to human and he, he understood. So I will definitely show more of Stone Town because it is an incredible city. Like the life there is so special. And I'm gonna take like a trip where I go in there and and I really, um, I really investigate the city. The only thing is that it's hard to film because everybody gets a little bit suspicious when I'm filming them and walking around with the camera. That makes it a little bit hard. But I'm, I'm getting used to it. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's getting there. So, and this channel has previously been about like personal development and uh, psychology, I could say. But I think for now, as the position I'm in, I want to make it more about traveling. So making some travel videos where I discover this part of the world and, and show it. Because I don't think it's too many movies or YouTube videos about this place called Zanzibar. And I really want to show it to the world because it is amazing in its own way. Even though it's chaotic and all that kind of stuff. But if you are an adventurer and you like to things are a little bit like not exactly how it's supposed to be then this is a perfect place so I think I will continue just trying to discover more I think my philosophy will pour through these uh, videos anyways and I will take up topics that I think are important uh, but you know Personal development is also about going out of your comfort zone and uh, discovering things that you have not discovered yet. And I think I will do this with this channel now. So, if you're a subscriber and you want to keep following that journey, then uh, you know what's ahead.